What's up guys, Taste Potatoes Workshop. I want to do a little update video on the string through saddles that I've been making for you guys. Um, and I know if you've been on my website in the past, I don't know, month or two, you notice that I'm not selling them anymore and I've got an explanation why and I want to tell you why. Okay, when I first started building these bender kits and I put one in my Telecaster, mine had this top saddle here on it and um, as you can tell here it wore a groove into the saddle ended up breaking the string so i knew that there was an issue there that needed to be addressed with um, getting the string into the guitar and keep it from either breaking the string or messing up the intonation with a brass saddle so i originally just decided that i was going to start making roller saddles or start buying roller saddles and a making them turn them into a string through saddle so i bought these guys and these were pretty good i got these for a while and i was selling them and um they were doing really well every now and then again i would get one that had the roller was locked up and it didn't work and i could, had to throw it away and this is one of them actually that i've still got so it was going good they worked fairly well I, I figured for a while um and then i started ordering these you know i'd be on amazon or uh even companies that sell saddles, they had a picture of these. If I can get it to where you can see it. They had, a they had a picture of these, but when I bought them, I got this junk right here. And the reason I say this is junk is not every one of them was junk, but out of six, when I ordered a kit of them, um, when, out of six, I would get maybe three that actually worked. And the things that was going wrong with them was, is a lot of times these, uh, Rollers were locked up, and then the other problem I was having is, is these screws, even this one right here, you don't know if you can tell it or not, but the screw is not centered up to the back of the saddle. And so when I would uh, drill these out to accept the bended head screw, the screw would come in at an angle on some of them, and it was just, it was a disaster. So finally, I just said, forget it. I'm not selling these anymore. And I tried four or five different companies trying to get these here, and I just, I don't know if they quit making them or whatever. The problem is, is that these are made in, as we all know it, China. And I don't like buying and selling junk from China that, I, that I've ordered online. And these just are not very quality at all. These were okay. These were pretty good quality. They had a, you know, they, they looked okay and everything would work, usually worked on them. But these just, uh-uh, no. I even got some that the actual uh, Allen head screws here were stripped out when I got them. And it just, I just got tired of buying them. I probably spent no ton of how much money trying to get different ones and um, just it didn't work out. So anyways, long story short, I ended up contacting a company called Graph Tech. Um, they're out of Canada. And I, I just told him, I said, hey, I want a, I want a quality saddle. Um, I'm looking for a roller saddle, but um, anything, any ideas you have about any of it would be great. And he told me, he said, hey, you need to try the string saver saddles. And it's these guys right here. If you can see them or not. Um, I've got the set, but I've got it open because I've already kind of messed around with them. But um, anyways, I contacted him. He said, "Try these out. The, these are uh, they're made from PTFE. I know they look like they're they look like they're metal, but they're not. They're almost like a plastic. Um, but it's supposed to be the slipperiest substance on earth. It's hard to say that. This is one of the things that says right here it says the, these saddles are engineered with PTFE, the slipperiest substance on earth, reducing string friction at the saddles and virtually." eliminating string breakage so um sounded good to me anyways he sent me uh, six of these guys to try out and see how i like them for free and just said hey try them out um send them to your customers do whatever you want to do with them and so i've decided that what i'm going to do is is if you've ordered a kit from me in the past and you want to try on these guys send me an email i've got five of these things that i can give away right now um because the sixth one is i'm going to keep it for myself i guess <laughs> i guess i can do that right so i want to give them back to you and I, uh it, it, like i said if you've ordered a kit from me just send me an email Oh, with the, uh, the same email that you used when you ordered the kit from me, and I'll send you one of these guys. But uh, it's going to be a first come, first serve. So if you're watching this video and you've ordered a kit from me before, send me an email. Now, what I want to talk about too is is with the problems I was having with the regular saddle. So if you just have a regular Telecaster uh, saddle style bridge and you just use the metal one that's on it, what's going to happen eventually is it's going to wear a groove just like it did in this brass one right here. Hoping you can see that. Can you see that? little groove right there this was about after about 200 bends on the telecaster and what's going to happen with the regular steel saddle is it's going to do the exact same thing it's going to wear a groove right there where the saddle it, the string comes out of the saddle and it's eventually going to either mess up the intonation 
or it's going to break the string every time you put a new string in it. And so that's what I'm trying to get away with these guys here. I'm wanting it to not wear a groove here, and um, I'm wanting it to just stay a solid quality string through saddle that will last for years. Now, one thing I do want to mention right here, if you do have a strength through saddle or you do get one of these from me, um, make sure that when you put this guy in there that um, you don't have the bent head screw ran all the way up into it like that. As you can tell, the screw goes pretty much all the way up into the valley of the saddle. And the problem with that is if you uh, can imagine the string coming out of the center of that screw, it has to go straight up and straight out. And there's just not a lot of room there for it to actually have any kind of, what would be the word I'm looking for? very gradual bend instead of really sharp ones. So what you will want to do is you want to take this guy, put in your guitar, set the intonation on it, and then take you a set of take your set of calipers and measure this guy, pull it back apart. I know it's a pain in the butt, but pull it back apart and then cut this screw to the size that when you put it back in there and intonation's right, you just barely either have just a little bit of the screw sticking out this valley or it's up inside of the Breed, or the saddle there and the reason for that is as you can tell now when the string comes out it's going to have plenty of room to make a very slight up and out and it just helps reduce friction here and it helps reduce friction on the screw now if your telecaster has a t saddle like this um, they also sell these guys too and i'm going to talk with him and see if i can't get these to where i can sell sets of these with my kits if you have this style bridge um, on your Telecaster and you want to keep it like it is where you can just buy a set of these from me um, that are made out of this material here. And I'll put a link right here in the cards where you can go check out their website. That's graphtech.com. And they don't just sell saddles. They sell all kinds of stuff too. And um, I'm sure they would really appreciate it. And like I said, these, these saddles are um, a lot better quality. I mean, they're like day and night between these two here and this one, a lot better. So what I'm going to do in this video is, is I'm going to basically put this guy into my Telecaster. Actually, I've already done that. Where is it? There it is. So as you can tell here, I've got my Telecaster. This is the first one I ever did. This has kind of been my project guitar. I've, I, this thing has seen so much crap that, um, you know, whatever. But um, what I'm going to do is I've got this guy set up in here. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to take this thing. I don't have the intonation or nothing set up on it. I just got it basically strung through there. And I've got it uh, tuned a little sharp. So we have um, a little more pressure on the saddle and on the screw. And I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to work this thing back and forth and um, keep a count and just keep going until um, either a string breaks or my hand's so tired I can't move it. I'm going to do that just for you guys. And then when I get done to that, we're going to tear it apart and we're going to look at the saddle and see how it did, um, see if it, if it wears a groove. I'm gonna be definitely be looking to see if it wears a groove where the string comes through the saddle right there. And I'm gonna be looking to see if where the, where the screw is right there, if it, uh, if it wears a groove in that. And if it does, it does on the screw. That's kind of gonna be the weakest point on this whole setup right now is gonna be where the brass screw comes, in, comes through. And there's really no way to get around that. Um, I, I mean, brass is self-lubricating, so it's better than using steel, but in order for it to, work right i've got to use brass um, i can't find that same material in a screw big enough or small enough to go into that saddle to where you know i could do that so i mean i, I might try to do some research on that and see what i can come up with but as, as of right now i've got to stick with the brass screw all right guys so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to take this thing and i'm going to sit here and bend it for you know however long i can um hopefully i'm gonna try to try to shoot for a thousand but um I don't know. It depends on how my hand does and everything just to see how it goes. And what we're, like I said, what we're going to do is we're just going to check and see how the wear does on the saddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 I'm going to have carpal tunnel before this is over with. That's 200 really fast. All right, so that's 200. Hoping you can see this. There is nowhere so far. There's 300 bins, and my hands are give out. So let's keep going. 6, 7, 20, 29, 30, 31, 29, 400. Yeah, it's got to be getting hot. It's not, though. 
So we're at 400 now, and I have not seen any wear on the actual saddle itself. So hopefully that's going well. All right, let's keep going. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 500. 500. We're halfway to 1,000. And still literally nothing on the saddle itself. I don't know if I can do 500 more. This will be 501, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 9, 600. I need a dang break, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 700. Dear goodness gracious. 701. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. Is that 800? Crap. I think that's 800. 800, I think. Yes, 800. Okay, we're going to say 800. Oh, crap. Yeah. So I did six, seven, eight. Okay, we're at 800. 800. 801, 82, 83, 803, 84, 85, 86, 7, 98, 99, 900, 901, 902, 903, 904, 1000. Oh, my goodness. I don't see nothing on the wear on this guy. Can you tell on there? I hope you can see it. I don't see nothing. If anything, it polished it a little bit. I'm I'm telling you what, my arms are going to be sore tomorrow. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this guy apart, and we're going to look at the saddle. So here we go. Now, that was a, a thousand in quick, very quick uh, pulls. So if anything, it's going to heat it up and uh, hopefully do more wear to it than just it being, you know, you bend in it like a normal B bender or G bender. Huh. Okay. So I don't see any groove war anywhere. I think it maybe it might have polished it a little bit right there. Here's one that's not been used. One on bottom has not been used. One on top has been used. So this is the one I just pulled out. And this was one that's I made. Worked out. That would do really well. Now the screw on the other hand. Let's take a look at it. As you can tell, it did what I expected it to do. It actually wore. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it wore a little groove. You see it right there? Wore a little groove in the top, which I think is fine. I think eventually that'll wear it down to the actual saddle itself, and then it's going to be on this material instead of this. So, like I said, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. Worked really well. The saddle performed flawlessly. Uh, no problems at all whatsoever with that. But uh, this, the, the screw did get a little wear on it there's that guys um like i said i've got five of these guys if you've ordered a kit for me before and you you want to get one of these for free uh first come first serve send me an email from the email that you used to buy the kit from me and i will send you one of these things free of charge don't cost you nothing i just want you guys to try these out and and see what you think about them and um also too go check out their website uh, graphtech.com Hopefully, in the near future, when I'm selling these kits, I'll be able to supply you with a uh, a good quality made in Canada saddle that uh, will work for many years. Be a, be a very good addition to your uh, guitar setup. Now, I hadn't decided if I'm going to just sell these individually or if I'm going to sell a whole kit. I'll probably do both, sell a kit of these with uh, this one made to except for a brg bender guitar and then like i said on these guys um, i'm going to order a couple of these and get him to send me a few of these and try them out and see how they do with this same test and hopefully they will perform just as well i mean this same materials has got they've got to work the same but anyways guys if you have any questions or comments like i said uh put them in the comments down below send me an email do whatever you want to do go check out graphtech.com if you have don't know that i sell bead benders go to my website cwkshop.com and um, go down the link description i'll put one down there and i'll put a little card up here where you can check that out too guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a like and if you liked it please subscribe thanks for watching guys